If you build a normal house to the building code, the building code basically stipulates that you must design it so that life is protected. And in order to protect life, basically what you're talking about is making sure that the roof and the walls don't fall down on top of someone during an earthquake. Um, that doesn't mean that your house is livable after the event. It just means that during the event, it's not going to kill you. So um, it's a fairly short-sighted um, design criteria in a place like New Zealand where there's earthquakes all the time. Um, whereas with a solid timber building, um, by its very nature, it's designed to move with the earthquake and return to the way it was before the earthquake once the event's over. So um, effectively it's designed to be earthquake proof. Um, so once the event's over, you've got a house that is still perfectly livable, is the same as before there was an earthquake. Whereas all the other houses that have been designed to meet the code are potentially unable to be occupied or they're damaged, there's weather issues, mould. Um, and as we found in Christchurch, you can potentially still live in most of them, but it's pretty unpleasant. And because these things affect so many houses when they happen, um, it can take an extremely long time to get your house fixed. And, um, I mean, that, it's a very stressful situation living in a damaged house, wondering, are they going to fix it? When are they going to fix it? What's going to happen? What happens if there's another earthquake in this damaged place? Is it going to fall over? Mm. Um, because you really need a structural engineer to look at your house after an event if you've um, built it um, in a traditional matter to assess whether it's still safe to live in. Um, and there simply aren't enough structural engineers to go around after one of these big events and check all the houses. So, I mean, it, it's a um, massive peace of mind and really just a sensible choice to um, build a solid timber house that it's going to um, survive the event um, and be in the same sort of shape that it was before it. I mean, why wouldn't you, you do that?